I listened to the old soundtracks, it really evoked a lot of that uh, old slasher film vibe. I really dig that stuff, and, and I, I really wanted to incorporate it into the new version. Uh, just the musical recklessness that genre of music has, uh, which actually fits very well with the genre of metal. We knew we wanted to have scary horror vibe kind of ambient score type music, and we knew that we wanted to do some retro stuff. But one thing that we decided that we really wanted to do was we wanted to have heavy metal in there. The metal goes without saying. There's no better style of music to accompany ripping limbs and heads off than metal. This kind of game, heavy metal, is like adrenaline for your ears. Like, if you're gonna kill stuff, if you gotta smash things to pieces, that's the kind of music we needed, and that's what we wanted. I have a background with this kind of music. I played in a lot of metal bands, and I played in a few punk rock bands. That really helped me understand what they wanted, and we, we immediately hit it off. That kind of gave me a head start. The heavy metal works great with all the combat scenarios that are in the game, but that's not the entire game, right? So you have all these, you know, creepy moments where you're like exploring the mansion trying to get from one point to the next. You know, some of our favorite horror movies have, you know, these amazing soundtracks, and we knew we needed those kind of elements in there. As far as the orchestral music, that really adds the cinematic quality and the tension that I, I think that in particular cutscenes need. <laughs> So we also wanted to pay homage to, you know, the classic games, Splatterhouse 1, 2, and 3. So for that, we turned to, like, kind of the Carpenter-esque, kind of 8-bit style uh, retro-themed music. The side-scroller music, that was a lot of fun, too. It was kind of a return to my roots in gaming and how I got started. I put sonic limitations on myself. I didn't allow myself to put too many bells and whistles on it to kind of really encapsulate that kind of sound in, in a modern way. The licensed music in the game was really fun to, to work on. I've been listening to heavy metal all my life, so to me it was like being a kid in a candy shop. And it allowed Splatterhouse to be able to sponsor all these uh, music events like South by Southwest, the New England Metal Fest, the Golden Gods Awards, and even uh, the Mayhem Festival. Sponsoring those events has been great because we've got to sit with Ben from Goat Horror. Brutal, man. Bill from Macedon. A lot of gore. Blood, ripping eyeballs out, heavy metal. I mean, it's all in there, yeah. Tony and Landfill from Municipal Waste. Next time you need your fix on gore and brutality, come to Splatterhouse. <laughs> it's just been a lot of fun being able to show the game that we knew went hand in hand to the guys that we knew would love it and are creating the music for it without even knowing it. One, two! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>